Hello everyone, can you tell me what is the basic role of wooden bricks in the construction of a house? Yes, that is the basic framework of the house. And what is the basic framework of our body? Is there a system for that also? Yes. So today we will talk about the skeletal system. So the skeletal system is to our body what wood and bricks are to our house. It is the basic framework of the body consisting of bones and other connective tissues that support and protect body tissues and internal organs. The skeletal system comprises of bones. The bone is a rigid organ that forms the skeleton of the body. It is made up of calcium phosphate and calcium carbonate. It also serves as a storage area for calcium thus playing a large role in the calcium balance of the blood. There are 206 bones in human bodies. Joints. Joints are the places where two or more bones meet to allow movement. There are 100 joints in our body. Cartilage. Cartilage stops the bones from rubbing against each other. It is the soft gel-like padding between the bones and the tips of on the tips of the bones that causes movement without friction rubbing against each other. Tendons. So here you can see the pick of the tendon. It is a band of fibrous connective tissues that connect the muscle to the bone as you can see here ligament. So the ligament it is a also a connective tissue that attaches bone to bone. So here you can see the picture of the ligament. This is the tendon, this is the ligament. So now we will talk about the function of the skeletal system. Support, protection, movement, renewal of blood and storing minerals. Support. The skeleton supports the body and gives it shape and form protection. The skeleton also protects internal organs of the body. For example, the skull protects the brain, the rib cage protects the heart and lung, and the backbone protects the spine. Movement The bones work in coordination with the muscles to cause body movement and make our body parts mobile. It also helps. Uh, a stand and move by supporting our body weight. Renewal of blood. The bones have cavity in them that have spongy material called marrow or bone marrow. This bone marrow produces new blood cells. Red blood cells and white blood cells. Red blood cells is also known as RBC and white blood cells is known as WBC. Storing minerals. The bone stores, min stores minerals like it stores calcium and vitamin D. Now we will talk about how to take care of our skeletal system. We should eat plenty of food that has calcium inside it. For example, milk, yogurt or almonds. We should drink plenty of water to keep our body tissues strong and exercise daily to strengthen our joints and muscles. Now it's time for facts from Yati. Number one, babies are born with 270 bo bones. Number two, most of your bones are in your hands and feet. Number three, bones are strong but teeth are stronger. Number four, bones are natural healers. Number five, teeth are not counted as bones but they are considered to be a part of the skeletal system. Number six, some people some people are born with a 13th rib, but usually we have 12 ribs. Thank you, Anjahan.